In the previous video we saw that moments were just expectations and that we uh, could make a um, uh, distinction between two moments. One uh, would be a raw moment and the one would be central moment. The only difference between these moments, between uh, central and raw moments, was that while the raw moment was an expectation of a, of a variable, uh, so here for instance uh, I'm looking for the first raw moment and uh, this is nothing else but the expectation of that random variable raised to the power of 1. The central moment uh, was slightly more complex in that it involved, before we take the expectation, we still had to uh, subtract the mean away from uh, this random variable before raising it to the um, to the power um, of the moment. So now we also saw that uh, mean was the first raw moment and the variance was the second central moment. Okay. In this lecture, in this video, we'll simply apply what we learned and find out to find out moments of uh, different distributions. So let's take uh, the first case scenario where we are dealing with uh, discrete variables. Um, you will find here three different notations, pretty much of the same thing. So this is uh, one, two, and three. They all mean the same thing. Uh, all it says that if you want to find a moment of a random variable, all you do is you just take this um, uh, the possible states, the possible uh, values that this uh, random var variable can take, and you multiply it by the probability associated with this um, with this value. So, uh, what is prob probability mass function? Obviously, uh, when dealing with discrete variables, we are dealing with probability mass function. Uh, I copied here a little excerpt from Wikipedia with two um, pictures. One of them is saying, you know, so probability mass function is a function that gives prob probability that a discrete random variable is exactly equal to some value. So here you've got an example. A random variable can take 1, 3, or 7 with these associated probabilities. Now, how about the uh, fair, um, fair die? You can actually see that uh, the die can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 different values, each with uh, the same probability associated with uh, with this particular value, okay. Uh, yet another example. Suppose we have a coin tossing experiment. Uh, um, when its tails it's zero, this random variable can take zero. Will take zero if its heads. The random variable takes one, a value of one. Uh, now our probability mass function, which is denoted uh, f uh, small x. So these are actually uh, equivalent notations. To describe the same thing, uh, so uh, as you can see that um, our probability mass function for a fair coin tossing experiment is uh, point half when x equals zero and point half where x equals one, because when a coin is fair, there's an equal probability that the coin will take uh, heads or uh, tails or heads, yeah, which are, which are denoted here with uh, zero for tails and one for heads. Now, because the probability that uh, the coin takes uh, one or zero is the same, this actually reduces to this notation. So uh, our pro pro probability mass function is half for x belonging to the sample space zero to one. Okay, so um, now let's apply what we learn about um, moments and to, to try find, to find out the mean and variance of this um, random variable. Um, so we've got a first mean is a first raw moment, as we saw this before. All we have to do is take the possible values that that this random variable can take and times it by the probability mass function. So uh, we saw that coin can take a value of 1 with prob probability of uh, half and uh, 
can take a value of 0 with probability of half. Now this sign here is just a summation. So you sum all the possible outcomes multiplied by their uh, respective probabilities. Yeah. So 1 times half, 0 times half equals half. Fantastic! We have found out the mean of this distribution, which is a raw, which is a first raw moment. It's denoted with a dash here. Variance, as we have learned it, is a second central moment. So it's slightly more complicated because you have to take away the mu before you square it uh, and before you take the expectation. Yeah. Um, so uh, yet again the same setup as before, the only complication is we have mu here and now all we have to do is, what, what this uh, equation is saying is saying take all the uh, possible uh, values that this random variable can take take away from it um, the mu, which is our mean, which we have already calculated here and square it and then times it by the probability associated with this uh, s state of the random variable and sum it all up. So let's apply it. Uh, we know that the, that um, coin, in our coin tossing experiments uh, it can be either 1 or 0 with the same probabilities so we put 1, take away just we are following closely this um, formula here, take away the mean, square it and times it by the probability associated with uh, the value that this r uh, random variable can take. Um, so we arrive at something uh, pretty much here. You can follow easily this um, for um, this equation. Uh, we arrive at uh, 0 0.25 as our variance. Now there is an alternative notation for variance, which variance can be expressed either in this way or in this way, only using raw moments. So you can see uh, we've got the first. Uh, raw moment squared and we've got here a uh, second uh, raw moment uh, and it turns out that actually this gives us exactly the same value as the this equivalent variance notation um, here basically what, what we are saying we have to find the second raw moment which we have done here um, take away from it the, the, the mean uh, squared, which we found the mean to be z 0 0.5, so we square it and we arrive at exactly the same value as the one in the alternative notation.